helixilicers elevate your power bi scales less diving so let's import our data set here click on here so i'll choose this data set so let's wait elevating your power bi scales if you have not yet watched our beginners video you can click on either on anywhere in the screen there you'll see it there so you can go through them so before you can land this or you can also land this it's actually beginner friendly too so there's no problem you can always take our courses now this is our the navigator here so i'll pick on um, data so i'll just select our data there it's loading so let me leave it a little bit low so this is what we have here now we are you can see the green part here we have in load and we have some transform data so what i want to do is actually i want to transform the data i don't want to load the data straight so i'll click on transform data so this is transform data here it's gone it's loading yeah that's beautiful so okay so just click here to expand it click that to expand it so it's still loading so let me just click it again so that's what we have here so what i want to do here if we look at the month here the month is just one two three you know it's kind of label so one represent january february like that so i want to change it i'll click on dates add a new column to create my month then i'll come to dates here then click on that so what i want to do is to click on the month here then go down to name of month because I want the name to appear January, February, like that, not one to three. So I'll click on that. Okay, let me move down to this side. Yak Z, you can see that it's actually a lot here. We have January to December here. So you can see that these are uh, all the steps we are applying is actually here. If we want to go back and let's go back here. So there's no problem. On that thing I want to hear, you know that we say our price per unit here and we have units sold. So what I want to do is to create a revenue column by multiplying price per unit by unit sold. So I will be able to create that is to click on add column. After I click on add column, you can click on custom column here just click on that click on that so let it load so okay we have it here so the column name i want to have revenue so I'll just type revenue here revenue so what i want to do is to calculate our revenue i'll just scroll down so i'll click on price per unit i'll click on insert then i press shift a to add multiplication there that is asterisk then I'll click on unit sold, I'll click on insert, then down so I'll click on OK. So that's it, your Z, that's another one there. So you can see our revenue is actually there. You can see the numbers, number talk about you are dealing with numbers, it's ordinary um say letters or word, we are dealing with ABC, that's it for word. So what I want to do here, and I can see our we have a three 3712.5 here so i want to convert this to all number what i need to do is to click on the number itself so click on it click on it then what i want it to be to be what all number so i'll click on it so you can see now it's actually it's in the old number now so it seems we are through there we are the month column we have the revenue column that's what you need so we can apply this from this power query here you can see that we are in power query editor so we can apply it to power bi so I'll click on home here, then I'll click on close and apply, then click on the first one here, close and apply. So click on it and you wait. Just wait. So it's actually loading. So adding data to a report. So that's it. It's actually loading. So this is um, beginner friendly uh, part of your essential. We are trying to create a search dashboard here. So let's see how it goes. So you can click anywhere on the screen to also take uh, other videos regarding Power BI for beginners. So you can actually click that. You understand? So it's actually amazing. Actually amazing. So it's still loading. Let's wait. Click upon loading. It can take some time sometimes. So it's actually loading. Okay. It seems we're about to be ready. So it seems we are ready. Now it's actually working on it. Okay. We are done. So let's click here and spend that. So we have our bravery, your data, your month, like that. These are all our columns we use to analyze our data. So what are the first thing I want to do is to create a structure. I want to create a structure. So I'll click on insert. 
click on insert gather shape so I'll pick the first one here click the first one so I will uh, kind of adjust it here and should just drag it down a bit of space by the left and drag it to the side then don't forget to close here so just to have a more space there so let me adjust this let me adjust this here okay it's kind of, it's kind of good here so let's actually um structure all our data before actually start to name so i'll click inside so i want to add uh the first thing i want to add here is our card so we have our card this is our card here i want to add three card so i'll click on it so adjust our card let me adjust it more it's how we call this let me just drag it here let me adjust it more here a little bit. so i'll press ctrl c v so copy and paste ctrl c v so you can see here let me drag it here again ctrl c v so just click hold and drag so i want to create a kind of space here so uh, just align it good beautiful so we're going to align that i want to create a column chart so these are column charts here that's them um, that's it i'll start column chart so this it will be somewhere here so i'll drag it to have the same length here then uh we drag it here so let me take it up then go up a bit so let's how we adjust it then yeah i want to create something like a map click outside so that it will not affect your chart here so I'll just click on map here i'll drag it to the side so a map will be somewhere here i'll just quickly let it be the same length with our shape they'll create a both so drag here so let me just convert it to a column like that so this is a later on well in the course of the video we create another chart it will be somewhere here so no problem so now let's start let's start with our shape so let's try to level it so we click here we click on the shape uh the star here so that i can see the color good click on the angle there and choose this color here uh, that is a 1.25 percent darker so I'll choose that color so after that um the border i need to up the border so you can see the edge there just off it so that it will look good so the text i want to apply text i'll choose on it so I'll click the drop down so go inside the text and type says dashboard dashboard so says dashboard so what I'll do is to bold it, I'll bold it here, then I'll come here and change to 30. I'll press enter. So I'll move it to, let me, let me drag this down. So the font side, the left is found there. Horizontal alignment, so the left, click on the left. But you can see that it's too close to the left hand side. So we we'll use our padding at the left hand side. Just type 15 and press enter. So you can see that there's a kind of space here. So we are making sense. So the next thing we want to do right now, it seems I'm true with this. The next thing I want to do right now is to for all these cards to load this card. Is to actually load this card. So let me go to my visual to load the card. So the first card I want to load is our what should I do? Okay, let me say I want to load my revenue. I want to know my revenue. So I want to know my revenue is loading. My revenue is loading. Why is it taking time? Don't take my time. You're watching us. Don't disgrace me here. Okay, thank you. It's million. You're here here now. Don't disgrace me. So the next thing we need to do is to calculate our units sold. So after the revenue, we want to know our units sold. Then the last one now is the price per unit. So I'll take that price per unit. You can see your your mate. You're not this one. me here. So that's it. Now, but you can see that we have some of revenue. And all this some some that we need to remove it. So double click on this field here. So just click beside the price and remove it and press your enter. So that's good. Come here to come here to the double click. Double click. Let's format it. So just remove it like that. So let's go to revenue. So come here, double click. Okay, I'll remove it and press enter. So there we have it so the next one now is this chart here let's create our chart what we want to create our chart is we want to create the um, the let's load a, a month yes let's a month january to december then i will load my revenue i'm just taking it just load my revenue there oh you yeah, actually it's here it's here so what you can see let me go to auto focus so that i can see very well 
click on autofocus but if you look at it now you can see it's showing december july august now it's not actually like good like this we need to actually arrange that we need to fix that so i'll be able to fix that is to go to here that's a type of view so click on that click on that just click on that there. so we have a table view here so what we need to do is to convert this uh in terms of months okay so that you can correlate so so what i would do is to click on the adder so when you click on the adder here you can see what sort by column here just click inside choose your mods and click okay so just click on it just click on it to work at work it out to actually work it out the zilla technology essential here so that is it so this actually sorted it's actually sorted what i would go is to go back to my report view what I'll do now is to remove it, this name here. I'll remove it and I'll take it again. Yagz, you can see now, or let's quickly check on report view. So you can see we have our January to December. So let's back, let's back to work. So what I want to do is to change the color of our bar here. So I'll just come here. So I'll choose, um, I'll go to column. So I'll scroll down, go to space, choose the color, and that is it. So what I want to do is I want to create a kind of another chart here. So if our boss name asks us, why is it that the price or no the size of our um, uh, of our product actually increased in December? So I want to know the reason. So I'll just right click on that December there. Right click. I'll click on analyze explain increase. So AI will actually do that for that's AI in Power BI. Amazing. Amazing, amazing actually. So that is AI. Let's wait for the analysis as it's loading. It's actually loading. So you see here is the analysis of 30.72 increases in some of revenue between November and December. Okay, that's exactly what we want to do. So let's say the increase. This is what our boss is actually asking for. So let's say it, let's say it, let's say it, let's say it. It's loading. So why are you taking my time? Don't take my time. People are watching us. Okay, you can see this our uh, revenue year Coca Cola diet Coca for majority. So you can look at it on the screen there. So how can we apply this to our, our chart? So just click the middle here. Just click on it. It will close. I think it's a selfie. So just click on this button here to add it to a page to a chart. There, just, just click aside. This is it here. So let me drag this up a bit. Let me drag it up a bit. Then click on this and drag it up. Then drag this down. So we are good to go. You can check the focus mode here. Check the focus mode. You can see what we have here. What I want to do is to change this. But I want to change that. I want to change that. Let me go back to the report. Let's do it from the report. So I'll right click here. Uh, no need to right click there. Let me just go to this place to actually um, deal with the column here. Then you can see the different color. Just this is the So I'll just click on it and change the color. So beautiful. We are in. We are in. So we are true with that. Let me I will expand it later. It's a kind of good like this. So let me click on our chart. That is our map there. Let me go back to the visual. So what I want to load in our map is our revenue. Okay, that's the first thing. Then I will load my states. So I'll just click on my states there. Then we'll wait. Jack Z is here. So, but when you look at this something here, you can see that the bubbles is actually very small. It's actually very small. So we can format this too. We come to the side. We come here. You can see it is called bubble. So go to the bubble, drop in there. So it's automatic. Let me just make it 12 and press enter. That's good. But the color, I want the color to reflect what we are doing. So I'll click below it. And there's a color here. I'll click here and I'll change the color. Yagzi, that's more like it. That's more like it. But what I want to do right now is to add a kind of uh, other thing here. So let me go up. So the map, I want to zoom it. It's too, you know, to have this kind of control in a map. So to have a kind of zoom button there. So I'll click on the uh, map here. We have control. Just go to control because you want to control it. So you just need to zoom. Just add it. So we see our zoom button here. So I'll just click here. You can see that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Other thing I want to actually add to this place is called um, Lasso. So, yeah, sorry, Lasso Body. 
So I'll just click on it. So lots of water here. Oh, don't worry, you see the job is actually doing it's actually amazing. So what other thing can I do here? Okay. Am I done here? So I've already our chart here. So it's actually amazing. Now let me create a kind of slicer uh above here. So let me go back to my report, my visual. I'll look at slicer. This is our slicer. So I click on it. Oh, imagine that is a mistake there. So don't click on anything without clicking up. So I press Ctrl Z, no problem. Just press your Ctrl Z there, it will reload over again. Then ensure you click outside. Just click outside, don't select any chart. So you can click here. So can I click on the slicer now? It's no problem. It's good. When you have made a mistake, you give it a, you become smarter for you to adjust your mistake. Okay, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay, I'll put this slicer here. Let me expand it a little bit out. So I want to load our B break band there. So I'll just take on the break break band. I'll take on, okay, you can see how it looks like. So we need to actually format this. So let's go to the format visual. Uh, I'll go to the slicer setting here. Then you can see the style is in vertical list. So I'm trying to choose tie. Yeah, see, you can see the tie here. It's actually here, but well, you can see the background is there. Let me go to value. Let me quickly do something first. Okay. So that's about that. So let me go to general. So I want to change the background there. That is the effect. So the background there, I'll just off it. You can see now you tell you the background. It's sweet. Let's go back. So let's go back to visual here. Let's go to the value here. So under the value, I want to increase the text there. Let me say 13. So you can see that it's bolder more now. I will kind of bold it. Then, okay, it's very good now. It's like we are good to go. So let me go back to a visual. That's amazing. So we actually true here. This all. So let's see what is interactive. First, uh, let me click on this zoom. So why did I use this? Why did I use this? So I want to click on this rectangle, uh, this thing here. So I will lasso. So I will just pick um, this and I'll snap it out and leave it. You can see how it is changing. So if I click on lasso again, so if I click on it, if I drag and all this area, I'll snap, take a screenshot because that is actually dynamic. So that is the function in case you want to be very specific. You just pick the specific area there so it's also dynamic and click on coca color you can see everything designing it's actually functioning so let me press ctrl z there then press ctrl z loading again so because we are picking a specific a specific place there so let me click here so i will not click on designing so that it will be kind of general audio map so the diet cock you can see that parade so uh our chart is actually dynamic. This is a sensor power beer brought to you by Zars Technology. So, thank you for watching. I'll say, see you next time. Light out.